here's the thing to put in perspective with Gonzaga. And I think if the haters are out there, that's fine. Like, I understand people being like, if you're a number one seed, you should make it to the Final Four. That's fair. But in terms of they can't get over the hump, they've been playing high-level basketball for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. And you got to go back to 1999, the Elite Eight run. That's when Gonzaga became Gonzaga. So the last 20-plus years, they've done a lot. They just haven't been able to get the crown yet. But I think they've had the right talent. Ted Holmgren's going to be a top three pick. He might be the number one pick. Jalen Suggs was a top five guard. They have 10 first-round picks in the last 20 years, which a lot of schools can't say that. So I think when you talk about toughness and sort of these tough teams, like it's 1993 and you can just clothesline guys in the paint, that's not reality anymore. The way they're building the team is the way other teams are trying to do it as well. Hey, what those 10 guys Bart, doing in the league, though? Because I don't know no, 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 Hang on, hang on. He's, he's, he is right about the picks. Now, whoever picks Homer, and they better give him time because he's not ready for the league. But Myron almost – I feel like Myron knows you got the Detroit roots. And he's kind yeah, of I mean, taking a shot at your bad boy's background that no, you keep no. falling back what to. What you mean? Chris Webber, Jalen Rose, <laughs> Steve Smith, Iceman, Magic? What I'm you mean? Saying, we I'm, got refined I'm, play, too. I'm we not trying to no start, I'm not trying just, start We ain't just no goons. We refined goons. You can be <laughs> tough and, and skilled at the same time. Outside of Suggs, I don't really know any Gonzaga greats that are in the league putting on a show. And that's what we're saying. Where, when is that Duke player that was me? I'm sorry. When is this Gonzaga player that was a great college player going to go to the NBA and take over? I think Suggs going to be one of those guys. I think he's that good. It's just <laughs> early for him. But, 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 Cunningham? but, but let me just let me just follow because you push back on the toughness side of it. But Myron, we're talking with Myron Metcalf. Yeah. I, I I just want to push back on the other side of it, which is when you say, well, they've done a lot of great things in 20 years. They have, and they went from that school with the funny name from the mid major conference to all right, number one seed. And they're again a number one seed. And they're again a number one seed. And they're not getting over the top. Yes, they got to the championship game the last two times they're number one seed. They got there. They just couldn't get it done, couldn't close. But it gets to that point. You understand. this, And this isn't just a Gonzaga thing. This is everyone. And Cal deals with this. Calipari deals with this. They, all the schools deal with this when they haven't won in a long time. It's like, when are you going to get back to that level? But for Gonzaga, it's we keep waiting for you to get to that level. And one of the criticisms is it's because of who they play. It's because when they get to conference play, what are they dealing with? But Pepperdine, you know, in San Francisco, like it's, it's not volleyball, you know. Like if you're playing volleyball, all right, you're playing Pepperdine, that's big on your schedule. But obviously, it's not when you're playing basketball. Is conference the problem? To when they get to this point, they're not built for it. I guess is what Bart was trying to say, and what a lot of the critics are saying. Yeah, I don't think that's a fair assessment. Listen, I'm fine with all the criticism of Gonzaga if it's typical, right? You're right. Kentucky gets criticized. The Dukes, they do. I think there's another layer with Gonzaga. People do treat Gonzaga like, hey, listen, man, we let you in VIP in the club, all right? Act right, okay? We, we let you into our exclusive club. Yeah. Why aren't you looking like us? And I just think that's an unfair assessment. They play some of the best teams in the country every single year. Like I said, they play Duke, and UCLA, and Alabama. They have three tournament teams this year in the West Coast Conference. That is a better league than people think. That league has been competitive in terms of NCAA tournament bids with the Pac-12. So I think to say that they're not playing anybody just isn't fair. But, yes, they're not playing an ACC schedule or a Big 12 schedule or a Big 10 schedule. I get it. But then what's the value of getting your tail kicked in those leagues? Is that helping St. John's? Is that helping the Minnesota and the Big Ten? No. you got to win, and then you go into the postseason. So I think they've been right there. I understand the criticism of saying you got to get a championship. That's fair. But there's this other layer of look at this big disappointment. Mm -hmm. I don't think people do that to other teams that have been more established for longer than Gonzaga, and they lose year after year.